my nature island brothers and sisters thanks for your love your support thanks for your performance feedback on this journey for the goodness of God and country my resignation from the post of political leader of the United Workers Party emerges from the national yearning for change that is a must for real change that people especially the youth can believe in I stepped up to the responsibility of political leadership in response to the need for change I served in the responsibility of political leadership on the agenda for change and I have stepped down from the responsibility of political leadership in the embrace of change. It was never till death do us part. It was always do the best with all your heart. Change for the better. Change for the good we are committed to do. Change for the future. As we continuously improve, change is the only constant as we honor human dignity as we celebrate our god-given freedom to be who we want to be as we strive to thrive endeavor to prosper as we rejoice in the desire to enjoy all pleasures worldly and divine as we earn our own money accumulate wealth as we live for each other as we stand together against any obstruction to the advancement of our humanity, change is the primary driver of the balance and harmony required for the sustainability of these engagements in the human experience. Political parties and the leadership of political parties sincerely committed to improving the quality of life for all must periodically rethink policies, renew systems, and rebuild organizational structures to remain relevant and fit for purpose. All political parties want better people's skills, improved thought leadership, new aces, new faces, fresh legs for the races. All political parties value experience in leadership maturity, stability in leadership. All political parties have their challenges with infighting and leadership succession. The United Workers Party is no exception. The Dominica Labor Party is no exception. Indeed, the Dominica Labor Party survived and moved on wonderfully well on the political front from the internal campaign of vilification, backstabbing, and treachery that drove then leader Pierre Charles to his grave more than 18 years ago. In democracies, where people enjoy the inalienable right to decide who they want to be, while at the same time dictating who others should be, no political party has any monopoly on these destructive behaviors within the party that hurt leadership efforts and injure the party's image as an honest agent of change. Still, a house divided onto itself cannot stand, and it is in the balance between democratic freedoms and the discipline for collective leadership responsibility that eludes us from time to time. Nine years at the helm, trying to usher in the benefits of change to secure the best Dominica for all Dominicans has not been an easy road. Dominica is hurting. Joblessness, worsening poverty, spiraling dependency, and relentless attacks on the freedom of the human spirit are destroying the, the right to lives that matter. A people deprived by their government of the means to meet their needs, are imprisoned behind the bars of those unmet needs. The playing field on which you compete for the seat of government has been compromised beyond recognition. 
and we have been struggling to secure the foundation of free and fair elections with integrity as the backbone of our democracy. And yes, there has been the infighting, the vilification from within, the backstabbing and the treachery. But I'm alive. I survived to stand aside, to continue to serve, committed to secure a course correction so that the leadership of the party going forward is protected from similar impediments to ensuring that Dominica is on the ballot and not the parties and interests we defined we define in mindless prejudice of colors. It is time for change. Hopefully, this resignation presses the leadership reset button on the clear understanding that living for others is a rule of nature. And if there's no enemy within, then the enemy outside can do us no harm. Let this be a moment of new energy, enthusiasm, and commitment to the movement for change that is to be. The change that begins between you and me. In all of us, for each of us, and in each of us, for all of us. I want to thank my family for supporting me through this journey. I want to thank the thousands of people, thousands of patriots of Dominique at home and abroad who have been with me in ways that I cannot even care to count right now through this journey. I thank you all. I give you the assurance that I did not come into this cause for Dominique that needs assistance as political leader of UWP or any other party. I came to serve and I'm privileged to have been in the position to serve at the level of political leader of the United Workers Party. The United Workers Party needs something different right now. I continue to serve. I'm with you. I share the struggle with you as I've always done. Before I came into this position, while I was in this position, and now that I'm leaving the position. I love you. I thank you. And God bless you all.